Alright, coming in at number 10, we have the fire ghost. Wildfires are pretty terrifying things, and they can and will absolutely destroy homes and livelihoods. The past few years have been particularly bad for wildfires across North America. In 2016, a wildfire swept through dry land in Idaho. The fire spread to Jeanette Cadwall's 50,000 acre land in Henry Creek. The land was visited by a fireman who told the cold walls that they had to evacuate their ranch and that their cabins were more than likely going to burn. Mr. Coldwell snapped this picture, which his wife then shared on Facebook. We see the fire burning, then we see a fireman to the right, but what is that behind him? Jeanette wrote on the image that she shared on Facebook, check out this photo, if you look closely you can see the fireman's guardian, which is what she called the picture. The fireman's guardian turns out to be a ghostly figure floating above the tree. Jeanette said that she loves it. Now it seems that the Coldwell's family were actually not afraid of the apparition. They think that the fireman ghost saved their property. He was like a guardian angel. At number 9 we have Tsunami. A massive earthquake shook the ocean floor and would send one of the most devastating disasters that we have ever seen to the shores of Thailand. There were thousands of people there, a mixture of tourists and locals, and no one would have expected what was about to happen. This picture was taken by one of Deborah Garlic's friends. In it, you can see her and a bunch of people on the beach trying to escape the cold and have a nice tropical summer. Not long after this photo was taken, a massive tsunami hit the shores of the beach and beaches all over the country. In total, there were 230,000 people who died, along with millions of dollars in property damage and people forced into poverty because everything they had ever owned was destroyed. These photos were developed and then given to Deborah's family so they could have a lasting image of their daughter and something to keep her memory in their hearts and minds. And number eight, we have the 9-11 plane. This picture went viral on the internet and purportedly captured the moment just before one of the hijacked planes hit the World Trade Center. It shows a tourist unaware of his impending fate and the imminency of the moment that would change the world forever. Note the date on the picture. This image was actually unleashed to the world two weeks after the 9-11 attack and spread like wildfire over the internet at a time that people were still very much grieving. So did this picture capture the final moments of a man's life? Well. No. There are some digital imperfections that are visible to the trained eye, but beyond that, the man is wearing a coat. And I'm not sure if you've ever been to New York during the month of September, but it just isn't coat weather. Also, the observation deck doesn't open until 9:30 a.m., so there wouldn't have been anyone up there yet. The plane also looks like it's approaching from the north, but the North Tower didn't have an outdoor observation deck, so it absolutely couldn't have been there. The plane isn't the right model either, so basically, it was fake and nasty, and I have no idea who and would do this and why. The image came from a Hungarian man called Peter who claimed that it was indeed him as the tourist guy. He created the viral image. Honestly, for me, I think that's really sick. Why would someone want to do that? Okay, moving into number seven, and please don't let this picture distract you, but it's five girls in a bathtub having a great time. I know you guys are getting all like giggly. Oh my God, there's five girls in a bathtub. I want to be in there. Well, their faces are blurred out, but you can tell that they're having a good time. I mean, you can see their smile. Well, you know what? They shouldn't be smiling for long because after they developed this picture, they realized that there was a guy in the window. He was probably having more fun than you guys, checking you guys out, being a perv. All right, let's move into number six. We have this girl who I guess is trying, you know, her best sexy pose. And it's almost like she's wearing no shirt. Well, although she tries to look great in this picture, she's actually scaring people. If you guys look in the background, I'll circle it right over here. You guys can see a hidden face inside of the cabinet. Someone is being a peeping Tom or something. What is going on? Let me zoom right into this picture because I know it's very hard to see at first But you can see this like big nose creature That's like checking out this girl and I'm sure as soon as this girl realized that you know There was scariness in her background and scaring all these guys away She probably took this picture down from her dating website profile coming into number five We have the haunted house some people think it's weird to take pictures of your home But honestly like everyone does it right it seems that Paul Sekiro uploaded this image to the internet after his son took it with his camera His house is in England and it caught the attention of British media in 2015 after this picture was taken. If you look closely at the window on the left, there is a ghostly apparition peeping out. Mr. Sakuro said, I was the only person in the house. We're astonished by this image, to say the least. We've lived in this house for about 15 years, and it is a former parsonage. Hmm. They said that actually they have had strange experiences in the house, as had the previous owner. It certainly seems as if Paul might have caught a ghost on camera. Number four, we have moments before death. I'm going to start this one off by showing you the picture and then we can do a breakdown. 
This looks so peaceful. You have a father and his son enjoying their time together. Before you get too sad, I'll let you know that the father and son in this picture both survived. But it's the car in the background that's the danger. Nobody knew what was about to happen, but an offshoot of the IRA had hidden a bomb in the car. This was intended to strike fear into the public and they did it strategically. They called in a bomb threat at the other end of town to move people closer to the bomb. And then when it went off, 249 people were hit by the blast. Everyone was sent to the hospital and 29 of them would die. This changed anti-terrorism laws in Ireland forever. The number three. Well here it is. You know, it's a very innocent looking picture of two best friends. Well what they don't know is in the background, the grudge is about to come out and kill them behind that blue garbage. I bet you this grudge kills their victims and climbs right out of that window that, you know, was a little bit left open. This is like a routine kill for the grudge. Number two, we have Jeff the Killer. I feel like most of you will recognize this image. Ah, Jeff. Jeff the Killer emerged from the internet in 2008 and the story usually goes a little something like this. There was a boy at school, he was terribly bullied, he mutilated his own face and went on a killing spree. Things escalated kind of quickly. He even murdered his own brother, to whom he whispered the words, just go to sleep. Horrifying stuff. Right. Sure, creepypasta. It was all over the internet. This is the image used to depict Jeff the Killer, but actually the image is photoshopped from a picture of an innocent young girl. Here is the original. It turns out that the reveal of the real image actually even sparked a new urban legend of its very own. The story then went that the exaggerated and photoshopped image of the teenage girl upset her so much and she was bullied so hard for being the face behind Jeff the Killer that she herself actually took her own life. Now, I'm actually pretty sure that that part of the story isn't true, but either way, turning a girl into a grotesque caricature just like that isn't okay. I honestly think that Photoshop is scariest when the image is given context, given a story. This Photoshop image at number one was so compelling that it made the story seem very believable and, well, I think it's fake. I certainly hope so. So finally, we've all made it into number one. You can see these four people who are like the best of friends building a pyramid. The fourth person on the right Right? isn't actually alive, like he's not actually there, what's going on? When I first looked at this picture I thought there was four people, but what's scary is that the fourth person is actually a ghost boy who is still haunting this house and trolling pictures. So I don't know if this picture is real, or if it was altered in Photoshop, if it was this person did a great job, but if this picture is real, holy crap. It's this like little boy just staring at these three people as if you know he wants to join in on the fun. So I don't know if to be terrified or if to feel bad because he just wants to have fun. At number 10 we have Wall of Ash. What what would you do in the face of a volcano? Would you pray for God to save you from this oncoming doom? Would you try to run for safety? Maybe you lock yourself indoors and end up like the most famous guy from Pompeii. Well, no matter your choice, I'm sure you'd be scared so bad you might pee your pants a little. I mean, look at this. Robert Landsberg took this picture in the face of terror and his oncoming doom. It was Mount St. Helens and it had just erupted and it was about to send a murderous wall of unbreathable ash towards him. He snapped this picture because even though he died, he wanted some people to see the power of mother nature. I can only imagine the fear he felt as he saw this barreling towards him. Not a guardian angel, an angel or devil from your worst nightmares at number 9, we have Slender Man. Ah. This is an image from the vault of the city of Sterling Libraries. Kids are running, playing, there's one climbing a climbing frame, but oh, what is that in the background? Ah. It seems this image was found in the library vault and we see a man under a tree creeping up behind some kids and oh yes, he does have tentacle arms and he seems to be wearing a suit. Who could it be? Is it he? I think it might be Slender Man. You can't see any facial features, but he does look a lot like the figure in question. Although, he does have a bit of a hairdo on him. Is that a mullet eye spy? I thought Slender Man was bald, but I'm kind of feeling him with some 80s hair. Legend has it that the photographer of this photo and all eight children in the image have been missing since 1986. In at number eight, we have this very innocent looking pictures, but because this is a top 10 list of scary things found in the background, let's analyze this a little bit more. So what you guys are looking at is a person, you know, taking a picture of this bridge only to find out that if you zoom into the right this person caught someone committing suicide in the background jumping off a bridge this news story broke and apparently a woman dropped off the bridge in China and her husband jumped off right after her I mean imagine putting this like bridge into your family album and you're watching the news and realize that holy crap this is my picture number seven I remember this image going viral it seems to show a cheerleader who experiences a nasty case of diarrhea in the middle of a game unfortunate especially 
especially when you're being hoiked into the air. Can you even imagine? A lot of people thought that this image was real, the look of the shock on the cheerleaders on the right hand side certainly make it seem like it could be, although I mean I've never seen poop that liquidy. It turns out thankfully this is fake, but the scary thing is that this poor girl was shamed. One commenter Kintinka Min wrote, you can ruin someone's life with this sort of thing. I actually saw this image and believed it and I felt deeply sorry for the girl. Imagine if this really happened and the whole world laughing about it and now she has to run around explaining that actually this isn't real, right? Coming into number 6 we have Kapos Forred Hungry. Hungry doesn't get enough airtime on most amazing top 10 so I am showing you an image taken in Kapos Forred Hungry which is around a two and a half drive south of Budapest. Did you guys know that Hungary is a landlocked country? I never really thought about it until I was scripting this video and I googled it and then it's like yep there it is they don't have any sea. Anyway this picture was taken in 1943 and I'm always here for a bit of 1940s vibes. It seems that the image was shared to the internet by Sitsgeti Goyongi. They said that the image is of their mum and was taken by their father. They added, a little girl is standing in the background and she has no arms or no face. They said that they thought it was a ghost or a demon and said that they have the original photograph at home and I know what you're thinking, show us the original. Here it is. What is happening? That little girl freaks me out. Is she the child of Slenderman? Shouldn't have any more arms and he has like tentacle arms, but maybe they can shoot out. My imagination runs wild when I do these videos. I need to be stopped. Number five, here's a picture with these three girls who's taking a picture from a very high angle. You know, trying to make themselves look the best that they can be. And this for sure is a trick for taking pictures. If you guys angle it, you know, the higher you go, the skinnier you appear. So this is why a lot of people like this high angles. Well, despite their best intention for this picture to turn out great, it actually turns out to be a very scary picture. Look between the two girls on the left. In between them, under the girl's chin, you can see a very scary face who also wanted to get in on this picture. And the face knew exactly where the camera was. She's looking right at it. I mean how terrorizing is this? And what's up with all these hidden faces in pictures? Coming into number 4 we have this old ghost. It's an old chestnut, it's an old ghost, I've seen it a lot of times. Have a look at this picture. It's usually accompanied by short stories like this. Back in the 1950s the Cooper family from Texas moved into their new home but something was amiss. Once there, they took a family photo, but when they got the picture developed, there was an image of a body falling from the ceiling. On further investigation, the story has brought no plausible explanation. There have been many speculations, including one that argues that the shadow is the ghost of the previous owner of the house. The film was proved as authentic. So what's going on? Hmm, for me it's all very Amityville horror, right? No prizes for guessing that of course this image turned out to be photoshopped. The real image is just of a nice family sitting down, sans ghost. At number 3 we have Flight MH17. For those of you who don't know, Flight MH17 was shot down by a missile while flying over the Ukraine. It was a devastating mistake and this was one of the last images that was ever sent off the plane before it was shot down. This is Gary and his mother Petra. It's such a happy picture and it's sad to think of all the other families that were on board this plane and how they thought everything would be fine. There would have never been any sign of anything going wrong until it was too late. Moving into number 2, this picture has been very talked about and a lot of you guys might have seen it because it made it into the mainstream news. And I'm talking about this one right here. It took place in a hospital where a hospital worker took the snapchat picture of a dead girl floating around in the hallways outside the children's ward. The hospital worker just took a picture of the corridor not knowing what she was actually taking a picture of. A lot of people might think you know this is just bad lighting and it's actually just a person there but the worker has confirmed that there was no one there. I think so paranormal activities is going on here and we should call the Ghostbusters. Or who else would you call if there's paranormal activity? Is it just the Ghostbusters these days? I'd probably just call 911. I would scream. I would probably start crying if I saw this picture. Finally, I want to end this video on a kind of slightly higher note. So we're going with back to school at number one. The seventh grade is a big deal, right? My mum used to take pictures of me before my first day of school on most years. It's just great to reminisce back to those key years of my life. That is exactly what was happening for Brooke Mills as her mum took her summer is over back to school image. Actually this literally happened yesterday as of the time of recording this video and it's gone viral. Why? Well you'll see. Brooke from Alabama is looking really nice in her picture but I'm sorry, what is that in the background? That's right, it's a snake, it's a literal snake. It's very camouflage, so good job, snaky friend, good job. It's kind of 
blending into the tree. The snake looks like its head is poised and it's actually about to go for Brooke. The image was posted on Facebook by the girl's dad and promptly went viral. Her mother spoke to WRBI News and said, Lord, it was scary. I got two pictures and said, Show your teeth, please, baby. Then I saw the snake. I said, Brooke? Come here. And she looked at me like, I'm not done taking pictures, Mum. So then I said, Brooke, get away from the tree now. I said it calmly, but I'm sure my face said it all. Oh my goodness. So actually, I don't know what kind of snake this is, but it looks like a rattlesnake. If you know, let me know. Number 10. We have this image right here. It's of two girls who look super excited about life. Well, nothing seems to be scary when you first glance at the image. But when you look over the woman's shoulder on the right of the picture, you can see this really creepy person glancing right into our souls. This guy did his best trolling in this image. I bet you these girls didn't even realize that this guy is in the picture until much later. They probably posted on social media, and then other people are like, oh my god, do you see that? guy in your picture and it kind of seems like this guy does this often because it was so perfectly timed like it's just this one eye glancing right into your soul coming into number nine we have Voldemort could it be magic no no does anyone else here remember take that I feel like America never had the pleasure of the British boy band but whatever I stand by the reference and I just like to sing in the middle of lists honestly it makes this whole dark Photoshop thing a lot easier to deal with so remember when Dobby the house elf was spotted on security camera in the middle of the night. Well, I'm thinking that there's some kind of Hogwarts back from the dead resurgence going on because this is something happening with Voldemort. I think that there's a poor soul with a Voldemort stuck on the back of his head. I guess that actually this is a black and white photo, so perhaps it predates the whole Professor Quirrell and Voldy era. For those of you who have forgotten, it looked a lot like this. Bravery. Your parents had it too. Like what is going on with the evil on the head? Is this some kind of pre pre Voldemort? Is this a wizard thing? I don't like it. This is one of the first examples of horror Photoshop. And number eight, we have Arjun Sienna at the San Marino Grand Prix. Being one of the best drivers in the world, you never would expect you would meet your end in a crash. I mean, I guess you're kind of tempting fate by always driving super fast, but there are thousands of drivers who live long lives and never meet their end behind the wheel of their trusted machines. Arjun Sienna was one of the best when it came to Formula One driving. He was a three time champion and he was one of the favorites to win the San Marino Grand Prix in 1994. The young Italian man was only 34 at the time and this was one of the last photos ever taken of him. Look at him, he's cool, calm and collected. He's got the eye of the tiger and he was ready to take this race by storm. During the race he hit a corner a little too tight and lost control of his car and crashed into a retaining wall. Even though these cars are built to crash and drivers crash all the time and walk away from it, today he wouldn't be so lucky. One of the tires of Sienna's car flew back Back and hit him in the head. Then he was rushed to the hospital, but it wasn't even a day later before he was pronounced dead. Coming into number seven, we have Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Okay, little side note for you. Did you know that the evil queen Snow White never actually said Mirror Mirror on the Wall? Who's the fairest of them all? Apparently, she said Magic Mirror on the Wall. Fact for you. Facts on facts. Anyway, here is a pretty young lady taking a selfie. We've all been there. I've certainly been there. If I had to guess a year for this picture, I would go with circa 2006. It kind of looks 2006-ish to me. I wonder what year the demon in the background is from though. What demon, Rebecca? The one in the mirror. Ah! And this comes in to number six. Okay, so look at this picture right here. Look at the top right of this picture. You guys can see that little like extra person in the background, right? Well, it looks like a real person. So let's just hope that there was many pictures taken this day because I would not send these kids home with that. Or I would have a Photoshopper on hand. Is that what they're called, Photoshoppers? I would send it to the guy, put it in Photoshop, and like take that out. And also I would look into it to see if someone passed away to find out, you know, if they're revenging something. They came back from the dead. Okay, let's see what we have in at number five. We're looking at this picture together. There's this car accident. Everything is looking pretty normal. You can see rescue people trying to look for something. And, oh, wait, holy crap, look over there in the bushes. This is why I told you guys earlier to not go near bushes, especially at nighttime. Well, in the background, in the bushes, you can see this, like, creature thing hiding out. Maybe this is the creature that caused the accident in the first place. This looks like a creature from, like, the movies or something. I mean, what do you guys think it is? And this next 
next image is at number four. Take a look at this. There's a lot of people in this picture, but the three main ones are these three people. There's one guy, there's two girls. And I'm going to assume that there's two cameras taking pictures at the same time. Because only the guy is looking at the camera for this moment. Well, actually, I should say there's one more person that looked at this camera at the right moment. Looking between the two girls, you can see this really scary devil girl who looks like she's covered in blood. Before she possesses us, let's move into number three very, very quickly. More ghosts at number three, we have the beer flood ghost. I absolutely love going to the theater. I go to the theater as often as I can. Often when I go to the theater, I like to take a selfie of me and my theater going pal. Auditorium selfies for absolute days. Why not? I love it. Well, what can you see in this picture? Have you seen it yet? Yep. Oh, hello there, ghoul. What's your beef? Why are you looking so angry and cold? This spine pair is just trying to enjoy a performance of We Will Rock You and you've snuck up behind them. There is actually some backstory here and it's pretty interesting. It seems that the theatre that the pair were in is the Dominion Theatre in London. I've been a number of times. A lot of London theatres are rumoured to be haunted and the Dominion Theatre is no stranger to a ghost story. The theatre ushers that work there will tell you that there are several apparitions, but the one in the photo is rarely spotted. Note how she's kind of blue? Well, it seems like the girl in the picture could be Eleanor Cooper, a young barmaid who drowned at the theater back when it was a brewery in 1814. An accident at the brewery meant that 1.5 million liters of beer was spilled, flooding the brewery and nearby streets. Seven people died and she was one of them. Now, the brewery was demolished in 1922 and in its place stands the Dominion, but are some of the spirits still there? Also, Drowned in beer. Gonna need to think about that for a while. At number two, we have the Challenger launch. In 1986, a group of seven people were set to jump into the Challenger space shuttle. It was supposed to be a wondrous moment in American space travel history, but a small error, a failed O-ring, would end up leading to the spacecraft failing and exploding over the Atlantic Ocean. 65 seconds into flight, NASA Control orders Commander Scobie to go to full power. Challenger, go and throttle up. Commander, go and throttle up. This photo was the last photo taken as they were headed out to the spacecraft. You can see how excited everyone is and why shouldn't they be? They were going into space. That is something that so few of us get to do and it is supposed to be one of the most amazing things you can experience. In total, seven people died in the accident, one of them being a school teacher. One of the scariest things about this crash is that some people believe that the people on board survived the initial explosion but were killed when the craft hit the water. Could you imagine how frightening that experience would be? Coming into number one, we have the Russian sleep experiment. Ah. The Russian sleep experiment was, according to internet lore, a hospital experiment that was said to have taken place in Soviet Russia. The Soviets were experimenting on political prisoners during World War II. Now, we know that they did do this in some form in real life. Russian doctors allegedly used sleep deprivation as torture and studied its effects. Now, prisoners were told that they would be freed if they took place in a 30 day experiment. To cut a long story short, at the end of the experiment, those still alive could no longer be described as human or even human looking. When asked what they were, one of the subjects reportedly smiled and said, we are you. We are the madness that lurks within you all, begging to be free at every moment in your deepest animal mind. We are what you hide from in your beds every night. We are what you sedate into silence and paralysis when you go to the nocturnal haven where we cannot tread. <sighs> I don't know. Cool. So what does the madness inside of your head look like? Good question. Something like this, apparently. Ah, horrifying, right? I almost, almost believed this story when I saw this picture. That was until I saw the original image. It turns out that the famous Russian sleep experiment image actually comes from a real horrifying movie prop called Spasm that was photoshopped to look like it was a prisoner. Lovely, great, horrifying. Look. Okay, so we have this image right here, and let me explain what's going on. You can see the three girls in the picture, and there's one guy and one kid in front who is crying. Well, the kid was crying because he said that someone was pulling his hair, but there's no one there. There might be someone there because there's this ghost kid seen between the second and the third girl from the left. I mean, how creepy is this? Let me zoom in. Right about there, I mean, this is legit a ghost baby in the picture. So everyone in the picture looked at it and confirmed that that person isn't actually a person. Move right along into number nine. 
nigh. I think this woman should try to save her baby from the darkness evil that is right behind him. The woman looks super upset as if she was like trying for so long to try to save her little boy from this evil but it keeps coming back. Or maybe the reason why she's looking so serious is because she's the one that summoned this thing to take her child away. I would be calling Seam and Dean Winchester from the hit TV show Supernatural because you know what? They're the only ones that know what to do in this situation. Okay, so when you look at this picture again and really analyze it, it actually turns out to, you know, it actually wasn't a scary picture after all. What it is, is outside the door is there's a woman sitting down with her back away from the door and I don't know if that's her like reflection but she looks like she's a ghost or something. Coming in at number 8 we have the wedding guest. Oh. I know, we're absolutely all here for that fur hooded cape. I love it. The 1970s are my favourite aesthetic era. So anyway, this image is of a bunch of wedding guests amid celebrating a friend's big day. I literally could not see anything wrong with this image at all until my attention was drawn to the tall gentleman on the right leg. Shall we zoom in a little here? Oh, little feet behind him. And if we scroll up, peek a bloody boo. This is horrifying. Do you want some big red circles just to highlight this point? Okay, there you go, and that's enough for me. Please remove this ghost from my life, mind, and memory forever. At number seven, we have risking it all. It's crazy what people will do for their social media. I know it's a business for a lot of people, I mean I'm in that business myself, but I can promise you that I will never do something risky like this. All the pictures I post will be of me being lazy and probably eating some food and maybe some memes thrown in there. That's as crazy as it's going to get. This picture was taken at the world famous cliff known as Europe's End. It's a beautiful view but this couple wanted to push the boundaries of a good picture. Unfortunately this would be the last picture that this woman ever took. Moments after this was taken, she lost her grip and she fell to her death. At number 6 we have trying to escape. I can't imagine how terrifying it must be to be in this kind of situation. I'm going to show you this and then I want you just to drink it in for a moment. Think of what that kid was feeling at that very moment. Falling from a plane at 200 feet in the air with no parachute. This is one of the scariest things I can think of. This was taken in 1970 totally by chance. An amateur photographer wanted to test out some of his new gear and caught this happening. Keith Sapsford had broken into an airport and snuck into the wheel well of a plane. He wanted to escape his old life. He wanted to see the world. His parents had just sent him off to an all boys Catholic boarding school and he refused to let that be his reality. He ran away and beelined it for the airport. He didn't know the wheel well would open again while flying. The sad part about this is he was doomed no matter what. If it wasn't the fall that killed him, the low temperatures and oxygen levels would have. And number five, we have Bud Dwyer's last moments. Bud Dwyer was caught up in some pretty shady stuff. And when you're a government official, you can't get caught doing something under the table or it's all over. You were elected to take care of the people and when you go behind everyone's back and do the opposite, the public will not be happy with you. He was the treasurer of the state of Pennsylvania and he needed to find an accounting company to correct a taxing error that overcharged thousands of people. He hired a company to go through this but not long after it was leaked that he took bribes from an accounting firm to give them the contract which was worth several million dollars. He was arrested and then sentenced but before he made his way to jail he called a press conference. He had the whole speech each written out. He talked to the press and at the end he pulled out a revolver and committed suicide on live television. The picture we're about to show you is the last picture ever taken of him before he died. More ghosts at number 4. We've got ghosts for days. This is the samurai ghost. When you come across an online article with the headline, has dismembered samurai ghost photobomb little girl's holiday photo you know that you've actually struck internet gold. So it seems a young Canadian girl was on holiday with her family when her parents snapped a picture of her in Zushi at the Kanawaga beach in Japan. Can you see anything wrong with this picture? It seems as if her father snapped the image on his Samsung Galaxy, but then spotted what looks like a pair of boots in the background. The image was shared on Reddit and the poster said, nobody was around when the photo was taken and certainly nobody was behind her. Her father took about 5 photos of her in this spot over the period of about 2 minutes. Now, one one redditor who responded said that the boots look like samurai boots which is really odd because it seems that actually the place where the picture was taken is on the site of an ancient samurai tomb. Terrifying. Are you doing at number 3? I feel like you can't get through a scary top 10 list without reference to Slenderman so here he is. Slenderman is an internet urban legend that crawled forth from a creepy pasta posted on a forum by Eric Knudsen in 2009. The tall thin humanoid with no facial features piqued the interest of many internet users 
users, so it was only a matter of time before they started photoshopping him into pre existing images and spreading scary new stories. For example, here is Slenderman seen lurking in the shadows at the back of a group of kids. Here he is responsible for a child's abduction. Here he is having started a school fire. Slenderman, he gets everywhere. Next picture in at number two. Here's a class picture with a lot of young students and their teacher. I know I love looking at old pictures, especially at that age in school. You can remember who your friends were and your teachers. Well, their identities seem to be protected in this picture. Well, everyone's identity except for the freaking ghost boy's identity who appears to be in the window of this picture. And I'm not sure if this school had a recent death, but this kid wanted to get in on these like memories so he can remember this for the rest of his life. At number one, we have Mayinga Naseka fighting Ebola. One of the scariest things that has happened in recent years has been the outbreak of Ebola. There was a recent one in the 2000s that had everyone freaking out, and for good reason. Two Americans who had been working to treat Ebola patients in Africa have been stricken by the disease. Officials say they will be taken to Atlanta's Emory University Hospital in a tightly sealed isolation unit. If you come in contact with this virus, you're pretty much done. There is no cure and you have to hope through the right medical treatments that you will be one of the survivors. It literally eats away your body until nothing is left but a husk. And the most most recent outbreak isn't the first time that we've seen this virus make headlines. In 1976, there was a case of Ebola popping up all throughout Africa, and because we didn't have the same technology back then, there was a much higher risk of the virus spreading and becoming a major threat to humanity. But thanks to people like this, we were kept safe from harm. This is nurse Mayinga Naseka putting herself at risk to save people with the Ebola virus. She was doing everything humanly possible to make sure people were comfortable and she was trying to stop the sickness from killing them. Unfortunately, this would eventually lead to her own death. She contracted the disease and she would die that same year. Coming in at number 10, we have tiny hole disease. The bad people of Photoshop invented a horrible disease in order to trigger people with trypophobia, the fear of tiny holes. I actually really don't like a tiny hole, this much I know. So people with trypophobia Phobia will be afraid of little holes in symmetrical patterns. A lot of the time, this is kind of the sickening symmetry that you can find in nature, like in honeycomb or certain plants. For example, meet the lotus pod. It actually makes my stomach turn. Remember the lotus pod for just one moment. Obviously, when it comes to tiny holes in the skin, then that just hammers the fear home, right? The only way in real life you can get anything close to holy skin is by like kneeling on a bag of peas. Or is it? My friends, have a look at this. Lots Lots of people have delighted in photoshopping grotesque holes onto people's skin, and that makes me feel absolutely not okay. The humble lotus pod has even been used to generate a horrifying looking skin condition that thankfully doesn't exist. Okay, can we stop looking at this now? Please. The number nine, where we are right now. Take a look at this picture. It's a deer in headlights. But if you guys look over to the right, you can see something that's like preying on this deer. It kind of looks like a half man, half alien. Maybe it's like a serial killer, and it's just been caught in this picture, and now he's gonna kill you for taking it. This picture was taken back in 2012, and no one can explain what this creature was hidden inside the bushes. All I can say is stay away from bushes at nighttime. When it's nighttime, you run. At number eight, we have this girl right here. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my god. About this girl, she's absolutely gorgeous. Well, if you guys look beyond the beautifulness and behind her, you guys can see that there's a mirror in the bottom left of this picture, and in the mirror is a very, very scary creature. It for sure doesn't look human, no idea what it is. I would probably get rid of that mirror as soon as possible and hope that the next day it doesn't, you know, reappear in that exact same spot. Because if that's the case, you sell the house. Okay, here's picture number seven. Lucky seven for some, others not so lucky for this picture, not lucky. Okay, so this picture you're looking at right now is scary on many different levels, especially of what's going on in the world lately. This picture, you can see all these people posing with their musical instruments. You can see a lot of people have keyboards, there's a few guitars there. Well, is this real life right now? Because the guy laying in the very front, I don't know if you guys even noticed, he's posing with a gun in his hand. And no one else can see it but I guess the camera guy. I'm not sure what is about to happen. Is this guy getting ready to open fire on everybody there? Because recently, we've had the attacks, you know, in Paris where 130 37 victims lost their lives, 316 people were injured and 38 deaths, and the Brussels attacks that happened very recently. And I don't know if you guys remember this guy right here, James Holmes, who went crazy and decided to open fire inside of a theater. I really hope we don't hear this guy in the news and he just like killed all these people. I'm not really sure what he was thinking. Number six, we have Blue Waffle. No, I'm not 
actually going to show you these Photoshop images because honestly, internet people be nasty and trust me when I say you can live without it. You'll actually have a much better life. Let me tell you though a little bit about one of the original Photoshop troll trends. Blue waffle became a thing in the early 2000s. It is allegedly a sexually transmitted disease that leaves both male and female nether regions looking pretty messed up. Messed up with a bluish tinge. Great. So anyway, a lot of photoshopping of body parts went on, leading people to believe that it was legit. Many people, especially kids, were actually worried about the disease. So many that a doctor felt compelled to make a video about it. Blue waffle disease is not a thing. Going into number five. I don't like spiders, but I am gonna call BS on this straight away. This is scary to look at, but honestly, I take comfort in the fact that there is no way that this is real. The image was clearly taken in a house of some kind. A spider is on the ceiling. The thing is, though, the biggest spider in the world is the giant bird eating spider and one, it isn't even that big and two, it lives in the rainforest of northern South America so you're very unlikely to see one ever. I would say sleep easy but I think that the small spiders are real and that's also gross. Check this picture out. I mean, you guys gotta check it out. Well, you got no choice, but I'm gonna show you guys. A man took a picture of his young daughter playing in their living room. Well, how the lighting looks, looks like there's a full grown man who's on his knees, like, I don't know, stretching, working out, but he's right there in front of his little girl, and the little girl knows it, and she's staring back at him. And I'm not sure why this ghost is just hanging out in this picture. Maybe there's some unfinished business, but all I know is I would get the heck out of that house. In this picture, right here in at number three this girl seems you know super happy and she kind of angled this picture for us to see the back of her car window so I'm looking at this picture and I'm glancing at it I'm like okay what's going on what's back there oh my god look at this there's this like freaking scary creature demon thing that is trying to break into her car I would be putting the camera down and running as fast as I can but this girl for some reason I don't know is this like her everyday life she just oh another creature she's smiling and like you know let's post this on Instagram I would be vlogging this thing because I mean, that is a lot of views right there. There's a demon breaking into your car. But at the end of the day, I would be screaming and probably crying because I would be so terrified. This is really sad at number two. We have Peaches Geldof. In 2013, the daughter of British rock star Bob Geldof took a picture of herself and her baby in the bath. She posted it to Instagram afterwards. Now, do you notice anything weird when you look at it? Because she certainly did. Peaches noted that something was off and she wrote this caption for her picture. Here's a close up shot of the mystery ghost hand in pic I took of Astella and me in the bath. No, that isn't my hand. One of mine was round his waist to hold him during the photo. The other one was holding the camera to take the shot. Also, the hand is around my shoulder, so a totally weird angle if I did it myself. How terrifying. Now, Peaches actually spoke to the Daily Mail about her experience, and she said she thinks that the hand belongs to the ghost of one of the previous occupants of the home. She said the house was built in the 1920s by a rich man and his pregnant wife. However, his wife had a stillborn baby and was so grief stricken that she went mad. She apparently drowned herself in the bath. <sighs> Oh, that sends shivers up my spine. Honestly, that could well be, but the tragedy of that home didn't end there. In 2014, Peaches was found dead in the same house, aged just 25. I think I've saved the best for last. We have this family picture right here that was taken in front of their house. Well, in the background, you can see what looks to be a woman in the doorway of the house. Maybe it's the last owner. I really hope her eyes are playing tricks on us, and this house actually isn't haunted, because I would be so terrified to sleep in that house again. But you know what? What? Maybe I'll call the Ghostbusters. Melissa McCarthy, where are you at? Number 10, we have this picture right here. At first glance, it seems to be like a normal picture of someone's living room, but in the background, you can see, you know, it's a very nice day out, the curtains open, letting in all the natural light. So far, I'm not seeing it. Oh, hold on. Okay, whoa, do you guys see that? What the heck is that? Look at the bottom left of your screens right now. There is someone's face just staring at the camera. They're staring right into your souls. If this picture is real, holy crap, it is time to sell that house. Number nine, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have this guy who wanted to pose for this like awesome scenic picture in front of this waterfall. Well, little did he know, or the cameraman know, that there was also a ghost lady in the background, and if they stayed at this waterfall long enough, they wouldn't still be alive. This is just like the creepiest thing ever. Is that even a person? If it is, who dresses like the grudge with a long white dress? Maybe the grudge was getting married and this is where she wanted to take her pictures. This is pretty scary, so let's move on. Ah! At number eight we have wear a helmet. 
We all want to look cool. There's something deep in our souls that make us urge for human approval and that sometimes will cause us to make decisions that are perhaps fashion forward but put your body at risk. Like what's going on in this picture right here. This guy is about to meet a world of hurt that he never knew was possible. And to be fair, it's not really his fault. I can't knock him for his ability to ride the bike. It looks more like it was shoddy craftsmanship rather than poor driving skills that led to this disaster. But this dude is about to get some road rash on his face and maybe lose a few of his teeth. The crazy thing is that all the dudes in the background have helmets on. Why didn't you join them in their quest for cranial safety? All right, number seven, maybe this is a lucky one and it's not so scary because these other ones are just crazy. Okay, so we have this pretty attractive woman who's posing for this picture. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking that, you know what, she's a keeper. Well, actually, someone is probably thinking the exact same thing, and, uh, well, that's the person on the top right of this picture. Did you guys even notice him? Why does it look like a baby floating head in the doorway? This is beyond creepy, and this one for sure needs an explanation. Number six, we have another scary picture. Here's another girl who just wanted to be alone and take pictures. But little did she know, she wasn't alone on this night. This is the grudge in the background. Ah! Oh my god, is this real life right now? That totally freaked me out. At number six, we have hot rain. What does someone have to do to try and get a little sun without being disturbed? If you live in the northern parts of North America, then sunshine only comes around a few months a year. So you want to try and enjoy every last second that you can get of it. And then something like this happens. Oof, that girl is in for a rude awakening. The worst part is, is she doesn't see it coming at all. She's going to have hot dog pee showered on her like she's in a super soaker fight. Even worse than that, it looks like she's sunbathing in a park. If she was on a beach and this happened, at least she could get up, run to the water, rinse herself off, and all the pee would be gone, and she would only be left with the emotional scarring that comes with the social embarrassment that will never leave her. But she doesn't even have a towel there. She's going to have to get dressed, walk home in the sun, and have a bunch of people give her weird looks because she smells very strange. In at number five. Just take a look at this picture for a moment and see if you can see what is wrong with this picture. Picture. It might be hard to spot at first, and no, there's no grudge or slender man in this picture or in the background anywhere. Okay, do you guys give up? Okay, let me help you guys out. Take a look at the girl's legs. Let me circle it. Her legs are bending the wrong way. I think she is the grudge. Maybe she's the girl in the other picture trolling other people. How is this even possible? She has no knees. Super freaky. At number four, we have this really creepy clown-like person in the background of this picture. You can see these kids jumping on a trampoline, kind of having fun. And then there's a person in the background like stalking these little girls. What's even scarier is I think the clown person like just lured in one of the girls to him because right over here, the girl the white shirt is walking right towards that scary person. This could be like a kidnapping happening. <laughs> Number three is a very similar picture to that one. Okay, so maybe the last picture might have been like a Photoshop error because the editors of the picture wanted it to look flawless, but they kind of forgot to like remove that creepy hand. But this next picture, there's no reason for it to be Photoshopped. We're looking at a happy family with a mom, a dad, and three kids, and let's not forget the very cute dog. But if you guys look at the second smallest kid, you can see that there's an extra arm on her shoulder. Let me zoom in and show you guys what I'm talking about. This arm right here, who does it belong to? It's not the scissors beside her, because here are her two arms, and the mother is holding the baby, and the dog's arm couldn't be that long. Maybe we don't want to figure this out, so let's just move on into number two. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so we have the world's strongest kid. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we have the world's funniest kid. What do you guys think? Well, someone who thinks that he's very funny is the guy in the background who is smiling. Do you guys see him? Just look carefully. When you see him, you're probably gonna freak out. What is it with these weird things hidden in the background of pictures? This guy is behind the little kid's chair and he looks to be inside the like a chimney or something I don't really know or maybe it's just a painting in the background with the creepy guy on it and it was just strangely placed okay at number one I personally think I've saved the best for last and that's because this one is just super scary okay here's the picture right here here's a woman in the water just looking around for something I don't know little does she know that someone or I should say something has been looking for her take a look near her legs just to the right there's a huge crocodile or alligator she is so super close to it. I really do hope nothing happened to this woman, but that truly is a very scary photo.